All right, what's up, guys? Ninja Deathstrike back with another look at uh, the rest of my collection. We last left off. We looked at the Neo cards I had from the sets, my last complete set, and after that, my binder just gets a little bit more scattered. Uh, I have things set up by type after that because I don't have the sets anywhere close to complete. So we'll take a look at colorless at least tonight, and maybe move on to some other ones if we have time, but. I'll start up here. That's a base set to Clefable. We've already seen the jungle version, which is older and better anyhow, but base set two is just a reprint of a bunch of the base set cards. Uh, next up, we have Pidgeot, who's from one of the uh, e-reader series. And you'll notice as we go through this binder that e-reader cards just had some of the best art that... Uh, that was ever on any of the cards. My personal favorite card is an e-reader card. We'll get to that in a bit. But uh, just, you, you know, you look at the Pidgey, like look at the card art, how great it is. So, um, then we have an e-reader Firo, also has a pretty cool art. Dragonite, reverse hollow Dragonite. I don't have the full hollow version. But uh, he's got Tailwind, which lets you make your active Pokemon's retreat zero. So that's pretty cool. Clefable. Moonlight, I don't know what that does. Once during your turn, you may put a card from your hand back on your deck. If you do, search your deck for basic energy card. Show it to your opponent. Okay, that's not that great, but whatever. Cool artwork. Here's uh, Altaria from one of the old EX sets. I th think this is Deoxys, but I'm not sure. But uh, you can see it's one of the f one of the safeguard Pokemon, same as Sigilith is now. It does exactly the same thing. Prevents damage from EXs. Uh, Promo Pidgeot. That's an exact reprint. Oh wait, nope. Sorry. This is the uh, this is the EX. Fire Red Leaf Green. This is a really good Pidgeot with Quick Search that um, once per turn you can just get a card from your deck. <laughs> Whatever card you want. So that's crazy. Uh, no retreat either and able to attack for two colorless. Not that you ever needed to attack with it, but just an amazing supporter. A Clutha. No one cares about Clutha. Uh, it does have Eek, but it doesn't have the protective power of a sweet sleeping face. A promo Latios, this is from one of the two-player booster sets. Um, that's a little symbol down there. Pretty cool, I guess. Doesn't do anything super special. And then the accompanying Latias. A Tauros. A promo. Cool picture. And here's the, this is the Pidget that's a reprint of the um, e-reader set one. Just a promo version with a different art. Not quite as good, but still pretty neat. Deoxys, this is the first Delta Species card we've seen. Um, for those of you who don't know, Delta Species was something that happened towards the end of the last series of EXs where they took Pokemon and just gave them a new type. It was a really cool mechanic that I kind of hope they bring back because it was a lot of fun. So we have a colorless Deoxys and the thing with Delta Species is that they keep their original weakness so it made for some pretty interesting uh, matchups. Next up is a Wigglytuff which um, puts the opponent to sleep if they attack. That's not that great since they only have a 25% chance of staying asleep, but I guess it's okay. Another Tauros. That's, I, I remember this symbol, it's Crystal Guardians. <clears throat> Delicati. Which has a really good poke power. Once during your turn, you may discard one energy card from your hand, then draw three cards from your deck. So, this is pretty much a better version of Ninetales that we had in uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver. HP is a little less, but the power is actually better because it's colorless. It's able to be used in any deck, and then uh, max energy source, 
10 damage times the amount of energy on all your active Pokemon. That was basically only good in double battles, but I guess it could have a worse attack. Just really good for the Poke Power, though. Next up was a Garchomp from Majestic Dawn, I think. Uh, the first Garchomp we got, I'm pretty sure. And his power, Rainbow Scale, if the active Pokemon has weakness to any of the types of energy attached to Garchomp, Garchomp's attacks do 40 more damage to that Pokemon, so that's pretty cool. Makes him a pretty versatile uh, counter in any kind of deck you want to use. Another Altaria from some Platinum, or some Diamond Pearl set, I don't know which one, but it doesn't do anything super interesting, so we're going to keep moving. Uh, last page of Colorless, we have a Dragon from... I think this is the Dragon symbol, maybe. I'm not sure what the symbol it is, but I love this picture with the overhead view. Uh, really cool Salamence card dragon wind uh once during your turn if salamence is your active pokemon you may switch one of your opponent's bench pokemon with the defending pokemon but your opponent gets to choose still it's pretty cool and uh, i just really really like the card art on that one and we have a promo glamio who we don't care about so moving along to grass next up is a, a japanese hollow beedrill from one of the Neo sets. Now this Beedrill did get released in the States, but there wasn't a hollow version of it. So this is a, a, a Japanese only hollow. And again, another incredible card art here. He's attacking some cactuses, <laughs> probably Maractus before it was a thing. Looks an awful lot like them. Uh, a Vile Plume, E-Reader Vile Plume. Doesn't have Trainer Lock. Uh, just the ability to poison. And an e-reader wheezing, who has a really great picture. Get a little closer to that. Pretty badass. Um, <laughs> wow, misfire. Flip a coin. If Tails puts six damage counters on wheezing, that's terrible. And it takes three energy. Wow, that is so bad. I... Next up is Butterfree. Miraculous power, once during your turn, you may remove all special conditions from your active Pokemon. So, that's pretty cool. Kind of like Espeon, not quite, but in the same vein. Uh, E-Reader Venusaur. It's not as cool as Fat Venusaur from the base set, but that's alright. Uh, what does Poke Power do? Harvest Bounty. Once during your turn, if you attach an energy card to your active Pokemon as part of your turn, you may attach an additional energy card to that Pokemon at the same time. Ah, that's cool. Uh, energy acceleration for any type, that's pretty good. And it doesn't say that you can only use one Harvest Bounty per turn, so you could, if you got a couple Venusaurs out, you could just start charging things up in one turn. Next up is a Meganium, Soothing Aura. Once during your turn, mate, flip a coin. If heads, remove one damage counter from each of your Pokemon that has any. That's cool. An Executor, sitting on a rock. Super Explosion. Discard any number of energy cards, and then you have to flip. So it kind of sucks, because you have to discard the energy. But Cold Shot is actually pretty good. Choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. The attack does 10 damage times the number of grass energy, so pretty good ability to snipe. Next up is a Victory Bell with another power. Fragrance Trap. Once during your turn, you may flip a coin. If heads, choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Switch the defending Pokemon with it. So that's cool. Kind of a catcher, but on a flip. Uh... And it doesn't have to be active, so that's good. A Jump Bluff, whose ability is Fluff. During your opponent's turn, if Jump Bluff would be damaged by an attack, and it already has at least one damage counter on it, flip a coin. So, a worse version of Smooth Coat that Cincino has now. Next up is a Crobat card from, I 
think it's from Hidden Legends, if I, I don't remember all of them. I used to have all of these set symbols memorized, but I don't remember them all now. Then we have a Dark Erdos from EX Team Rocket Returns, which was a fun set. It introduced the, uh, the new Dark Types, and they were also Dark Type in addition to whatever their other typing was. So they had Dual Types, which may have been the first Dual Type we got. I'm not positive. Some Flora no one cares about. An older Victory Bell, Nectar Pod. Once during your turn, you may switch one of your opponent's benched stage two evolved Pokemon with one of the defending Pokemon. Your opponent chooses the defense. So again, a double battles thing. But I mean, if they have a stage two, you can catch it out. It's, I'm sure it was made for taking care of those support guys that sit on the bench and don't do anything. Cradley was pretty good. The Evolution Wave, I remember using... Uh, sometimes in a couple of my decks. Count the number of React Energy cards attached to Cradley and choose up to that number of your opponent's evolved Pokemon. Remove the highest stage evolution card from those Pokemon and have them shuffle it into the deck. So this is a really strong de-evolution attack because it sends them to the deck instead of the hand, which means even if you can't take the KO, you can get it out of there. Uh, this was a really annoying card, and I think I mentioned maybe a while ago, that React Energy remind me a lot of the Plasma Energy that we're going to be getting a couple of sets from now. I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, a lot of attacks that do things like this, where if you have a Plasma Energy attached, it gets an extra ability. A Promo Venusaur. Torterra. The original from Diamond and Pearl. A very cool Celebi card from Majestic Dawn. I love the card art. Let's zoom in on it a little. Very cool. Another Eridos. And another Jump Bluff. Cotton Spore. What's that do? Whenever Jump Bluff would be damaged by... Okay, so it's the same as Fluff. Just better. And another Venusaur has Miracle Aroma. If heads choose either a Sleep, Burned, or Poison, the defending Pokemon is now affected by that special condition. That's neat. Uh, we're at 12 minutes. I think we probably have time to go through one more type. So we'll go ahead and do Water. Grass and Water are two of the biggest types, obviously. So if we can get through them, we should make good progress on the rest. But back to the e-reader cards. We have a Kingler. Has a pretty cool picture. A very neat cloister card with a mosaic background. I love his smirk too. Polyrath has an ability plunge. Once during your turn, if Polyrath is on your bench, flip a coin. If heads take all energy cards, attach your active Pokemon, attach them to Polyrath, and then switch them. So it's like fighting tag, but it's on a flip. For Alligator Card, who just has amazing artwork, let's take a moment to appreciate how badass this card is. I love this card. Again, with the e-readers cards just being incredible artwork-wise. Uh, his ability, Major Tsunami, once during your turn. If for Alligator is your active Pokemon, and if your opponent has any bench Pokemon, your opponent switches his active with his bench, and if you have any bench Pokemon, you switch for Alligator. So, it's kind of like Slippery Souls, but you can only use it if for Alligator is active. Not sure how useful that would be, but it doesn't matter because the card looks so incredible. And moving right along to another incredible looking card, we have Blastoise. I'll zoom in on him, see if I can get him to sparkle a little bit. There we go. Uh, very similar pose to... For Alligator, they're both kind of coming at you half underwater. I like For Alligator better because of the background, but Blastoise definitely looks pretty cool too. And his ability, Jet Stream, once during your turn before you attack, if Blastoise is your active Pokemon, flip a coin if heads discard an energy attached to Blastoise, if any. Then, if there are any energy cards attached to the defending Pokemon, choose one of them and discard it. That's cool, I guess. Tentacruel. 
another really cool looking card just really cool angles on some of these uh, his power strange tentacles once during your turn before you attack as long as the number of energy cards attached to the defending Pokemon is less than energy cards attached to your active Pokemon you may choose an energy card if any in your opponent's discard pile and then attach it to the defending Pokemon uh, I don't know why you'd want to do that but okay maybe there's some attacks that do damage based on the amount of energy on them Mewtwo would like that Next up, we have a uh, Fireworks Articuno from the Legendary set. I only have two of these Fireworks cards. I don't know what the significance of them is. They just look really freaking cool. Uh, you can see the whole card's hollow. It's got these Firework holograms going on. So, that's neat. Uh, a Sea King. A Melodic. And I had a better Melodic, but it was lost. I had a good one. And I think I had a Melodic EX, too, that is also lost. Unfortunately. So here's some more water guys. Kyogre. Pretty cool picture. Smoochum, no one cares about. Another pretty cool looking Feraligator. This one's from... What is this? I forget. It starts with a U, I think. Lapras, who has a really, really handy power. Support navigation. Once during your turn, when you put Lapras onto your bench from your hand, search your deck for a supporter card, show it to your opponent, put it into your hand. I loved this card. I had it in all my water decks, multiple copies. Uh, it's from this one's from Hidden Legends. Unseen Forces. That's what this is. This means Unseen Forces. I just remembered. This one's from Hidden Legends, though. A really good card. I liked it a lot. <clears throat> a Swampert. A Suicune with a cool artwork. Mirror Coat. If Suicune is burned or poisoned by an opponent's attack. The attacking Pokemon is now affected by the same special condition. Weird that it only works on burned and poisoned, but whatever. Vaporeon, pretty cool card art. Uh, another Suicune, pure body, which is really weird whenever you attach a water energy card from your hand to Suicune. <coughs> Excuse me discard an energy attached to Suicune. So you can't attach from your hand, which seems unnecessary, but whatever. Everyone's favorite Pokemon Love Disc. Looking like a moron. Its card art is even dumb. Luminion, another forgettable water type. It does have a Poke Power. Once during your turn, if Luminion is your active Pokemon, Choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon that has maximum HP, 100 or more. Switch it with a defending Pokemon. So it's kind of like that uh, Victory Bell that we saw earlier. Can lure out big Pokemon. Uh, a somewhat less exciting for Alligator with dumb art. Ludicolo, a really, really happy Ludicolo. Who heals himself. A Blastoise, Waterlog, once during your turn, you may attach it as many basic water energy cards from your hand to your Pokemon any way you like. If you do, your turn ends. Wow, that sucks. Even the base set one's better than that. Whatever. Gastrodon. Okay. Swampert, Ability Swampert. Wash out as often as you like during your turn before your attack. You may move water or fight energy card attached to one of your bench Pokemon to your active. We have a couple of abilities that are like that now. The Blastoise that we had was pretty similar to that. Um, a Bad Lapras. Glaceon. Cool artwork. Really cool artwork. What is your name? Manaphy. And that's it.
fire is next. So, all right, that, wow, this is a long one. But that's going to do it for this episode. We'll get to fire next time. Hope you guys liked it. TCG out tomorrow, maybe, if they actually do it. I'll believe it when I'm playing it. But if it's working, you can expect some pack openings from me and uh, matches shortly after that. So, uh, thumbs up if you liked the video. Please leave me a comment. I love reading them uh, if they're not stupid. And sub if you haven't done that yet. Thanks for watching, guys.